What's up, YouTube? We're back in this thing. Today, we're going to be going over uh, this text effect Young Tata does. Mostly, I've seen a lot of other video editors do it, but Young Tata primarily does it, and he does it in almost all of his uh, videos that he does. We're going to be going over the one that's done in this Black Boy JB and Nelly Chapa music video. If you just tweak a few things, you can get a different effect like he does in other music videos. Before we get into it, if you're new here, what we're doing is we're doing a series called Tutorial Miss. It's where I upload a tutorial every day for all of December. If you're new and missed out on the first eight videos before this, the link will be in the description with a playlist of all the videos from start to finish so you can learn some effects that way. Also, if you're not subscribed because the majority of people that watch me are actually not subscribed. So if you're looking for one effect and find it useful you're gonna probably find another effect that i do later on useful so might as well subscribe i actually went to like chinatown with uh, a few buddies today uh in the city and we filmed on this 360 camera so let me know if you guys want to see the tutorial on that or maybe just me playing around with it because that's actually the first time i used it so i'm not quite sure on uh what exactly i can do with it but there's definitely some uh some cool effects you can do so let me know if you guys are interested in that. Also, I, we took some photos, so maybe I'll do like a little editing of that day's adventure or whatever. Okay, so now getting into the actual tutorial. This is what I came up with. It's pretty similar in effect to this effect here. Uh, if I wanted to, you could spend more time and get it closer to it, but I think that's good enough for tutorial's sake. So what you want to do is, we'll go ahead and delete that and go to your text tool and type in something. I'm going to type in Brian for this tutorial. And then what we're going to do is just move it to the center. Well, actually, we're going to go to transform and make sure the anchor point is in the center of the text. So basically, you want to move this little point to the middle of everything. So you can just line it up with these red dots as close as possible. And then if you need markers or whatever, you can go to title and action save, click guides and move that dot to the center of that like right there. All right. So I just trimmed it down a little bit, made it like four seconds. And the first thing I noticed is he just keyframes the position or not the position the first thing i notice is he keyframes the scale so i'm just going to bring it down to 80 something like that and then go to the end and do maybe like 110 and we'll see what that looks like that looks pretty good there's a decent amount of movement so i'm just going to go ahead and keyframe assistant easy ease them and then go to the graph editor and what i'm going to do here is just bring that point to the left and then that point to the right so what that's going to do is it's going to make it fast slow and then go fast again it's basically just like kind of already adding on to the easies you don't have to do it i just thought uh he kind of did something similar so it looked cool and then also he keyframed opacity from the beginning and then maybe let's go preview five frames forward make it 100 percent opacity go to the end make that zero and then go five frames from the last make that 100 and then we're just going to easy use that and I think that might be a little too short, so we're going to do 10 frames instead on each. So just bring in a 5 frames extra. And now getting into the actual effects, what you're going to add is Turbulence Displace. Go ahead and drag that onto your clip. I'm just going to go to somewhere where we can see it. And then it all depends on the size of your text and everything, but I'm going to go and play with the size of the actual displace. I think something like 50 looks good, and then the amount I'm going to keyframe or i'm going to move down to like 20 and then what i'm going to do is go to the beginning go to evolution and then go to something and maybe move it to like 230 or something see what that looks like that looks pretty good uh just basically play with the evolution as much as you want everyone's going to be different especially depending on how long you make it and then again uh, i'm just going to easy ease it to make the motion to make the motion a little bit more smooth so yeah i like the way that looks uh if you want to add a little bit more wave to it i'm going to add some wave warp and then bring down the wave height to something like three, maybe even two here, and then maybe bring up the size of the wave width. So that looks pretty de decent. I think I'm gonna make the wave height actually just one, so making it even less. Let's see what that looks like. There we are, I'm liking the way that looks. And then one of the biggest things he adds is some glow. You go ahead and add some sapphire glow. Normal glow works too, I just prefer sapphire glow. The plugin's really good. We definitely need to bump down the brightness, maybe something like one. And the glow width, we're gonna bring that down to maybe something like 15. Just that way it's not bleeding into other ones. And we're actually gonna move the brightness up to 1.5 and then just bring down the glow width a little bit more, something at like 10. And then that looks good for now. We're gonna add some flicker, sapphire flicker. If uh, you don't have Flickr or the Sapphire plugins, you can just keyframe the brightness to flicker back and forth. Obviously, this is a lot easier, so I'm gonna be doing that. First thing we're gonna do is make the amplitude like something like one, play that. That looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna keyframe the random frequency. So that's just the speed at which it flickers. We're gonna go to the first frame, 
make it something a little slower, maybe something like 15, and then go somewhere around the middle, bring it back up to 30, and then 15 again at the end. Easy as those. And what that's doing is just kind of making the random frequency a little bit more random. That's looking pretty good. We can add some Gaussian blur, drag that on, repeat ed edge pixels, and then see what it, what it looks like. I think we're gonna keyframe this as well. Maybe something like 20 on the first frame, and then we're gonna do 10 frames in, and then make it something like 10 maybe, and then go to the last frame, make it 20 again, and then go 10 frames from the last frame in, and we'll make that 10. And I really like the way that looks. I think if I were to change some things, I'd maybe go to glow, make the glow back up to two. So we just get a little bit more glow. And then I always like adding a little bit of grain or something or some noise. So I think we could just go ahead and do that. I don't know if he does it in the whatever, in his videos, but I just like the way that looks. So maybe something like five. And then we can go ahead and turn on the video clip behind it. We'll try to find a spot where there's no text so we can see what ours looks like. There we are. Put it on that clip right there. So we're pulling this, here's his text. Plain. And there's what we came up with. I'd say ours is pretty good. I think our flicker amplitude is maybe a little too high. So we can do, or at least our luma is. So we can go to 0.5 and then that will uh, make it not go as dark. Let's see what ours looks like here. In his, he definitely had it scale in a lot more, so we can go ahead and change that real quick. You don't have to like replicate the effect exactly. I'm just kind of trying to show you how you can do a similar effect. So we'll do something like 70, and then maybe at the end make it, instead of 110, 150. And we'll render that out. I'd say that looks pretty close. I like the way that looks. You can obviously add a bunch of different effects on your uh, Anything from like some RGB split to, you know, more layers behind it and like change the blending mode of it and like the scale. So there's like multiple layers of text. You can obviously do whatever you want with the text as well too. So like feel free to add some, you know, RGB split or add a different layer of text behind it and make it like a different blending mode, change the color. There's plenty of stuff you guys can do with this tutorial and make the text your own. Definitely don't just go out and copy his titles exactly. If you guys made it all the way to the end and are not already subscribed, hit that button. Also, if you haven't liked and commented already, do that. I'm putting in a lot of work for these videos for the last eight days and going to be the rest of the month. So I'd appreciate that a lot. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Peace.